I've always wanted an outdoor day bed that I can lay out by my pool on, but they can be super expensive, sometimes upwards of $4,000. So we came up with our own shanty version, and all in all, we spent under $200 in material for this bed. And wait till you see how easy it is to build. Don't you think it'd be fun to sit out and have a margarita and sit by your pool out and after? Good plan. Let's do it. Here's all you need to build this DIY outdoor bed. Four four by fours, two two by twos, five two by fours, six one by six, and seven one by fours. We've already made our cuts, so let's build it. Hardware is always optional. We've got some bases and caps for the four by four posts and some decorative angle brackets. Step one. Ash. Step one, yes. So step one, we are going to make the assemblies for the front and the back frame of the bed. And to do that, we're going to attach a two by two cleat to the bottom of these two by four side frames. So we're making sure that we're using exterior screws to attach everything. Where are you gonna put this bed, Ash? That's what my husband asked me. <laughs> I said, I'm so excited, I'm building us an outdoor bed. And he was like, where are we gonna put Yay. it? Yay! <laughs> and I was like, in the grass, so you can have to weed eat around it. Now make sure that your pocket holes are facing up right here because those are gonna be facing the inside of the bed. You also wanna make sure that we're creating these mirror image so that they can mirror each other and the bed slots can fit inside of it. Now this is a super easy build. It's really big, but there's only about eight steps. And you can get the steps by downloading our free printable plans in the description box below. Now we're adding some all-weather bases and caps on each of our 4x4 posts, and that'll just help protect it while it's outside. All right, we have all four posts done, and now we're moving on to step three. That's pretty fast. <laughs> now that we've finished the front and back frame pieces, we're going to move to the side assemblies. We're using the short 2x4s. On the bottom, we're gonna put them 18 inches up from the bottom of the post. We're attaching them with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Make sure that they're flush with the inside of those four by fours and the pocket holes face inside. All right, now we've got the bottom pieces attached. We're gonna attach the top pieces. This is gonna be a little bit different. We don't want pocket holes up there because you're gonna see them. So we're going to use our decorative angle brackets. Now we've got those bottom side pieces on. We're moving up to the top and we're attaching these two inches from the top and we're centering them on the inside of those four by fours and we're attaching them with wood screws and the angle brackets. The reason we are leaving two inches from the top is because I'm adding a optional pergola top so you can have some slots across the top and it'll give you space to add those. All right, so we are moving on to the next step, and this is a part where it's always nice to have a little, a little help, like a friendly sister to hold this up for you, because this thing is not small. It's such an easy build, but it, I think the hardest part of it is just maneuvering all the giant pieces and having somebody hold it for you. So that's my job today. I'm moral support. And holder. And a holder. So we're gonna do the same thing. We've got a two by four for the top back brace, and we're going to attach it the same way we did the side pieces with the metal angle brackets. And wood glue. And wood glue. And don't forget your wood glue. Wit. Yep, you're doing an awesome job of holding up that side. I'm multitasking Couldn't up here. Couldn't do it without you. I'm adjusting my tool belt, adjusting my mic, and holding it for you. you can this is YouTube, this. baby. You can do whatever you want. Okay. You're yeah. done. You're so beast. That's what I hear all the time, actually. When you're eating, when you're snacking. Yeah. When I'm having my snacks, they're like, gosh, you're so beast. <laughs> Especially when I'm eating bacon. <laughs> All right, top supports are done. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom frame supports. And these are two by four boards. We have gone ahead and added the one and a half inch pocket holes. Remember those cleats? We made those before, now we're gonna be attaching them. And we're using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue, and these are the pocket hole screws that we already drilled into the cleats in the two by fours. All right. We've got that frame attached. Now we're gonna set this guy up and attach our other one. All right, now we are attaching this front runner. I'm gonna hold it for Ashley. I'm gonna beast it and hold this in place for Ashley while she gets it attached. Shanty beast mode. It's a thing. We're attaching that front piece using pocket hole screws and wood glue. All right, so we've got the whole frame assembled. Now we're going to attach all the slats and we're gonna do that with wood glue and outdoor screws and we're just gonna put one on each end, right into that cleat. And we're going to evenly space the rest of them out and we're attaching them with one and a quarter inch wood screen. So Ashley, what are you going to finish this with? 
I'm gonna stain it and then probably put a Thompson water seal on it. They've got a spray paint that is awesome and easy to use. I used that on a planter and to this day, that pine planter has survived years and years and it still looks new. Yeah, that's what I used on my outdoor lounge chairs and they, the color is still perfect on them. All right, the slats are on. Now we're gonna add the back slats right here. That's an optional piece, so if you don't wanna do that, you can skip over it. So we're attaching these from the back side using wood screws and those angle brackets. We're also adding a line of wood glue right here in between each joint, that way it holds nice and tight. So while Ash is using her muscle, I'm using my brains, and I put spacers in between this wood and the frame, and that just holds it exactly where it needs to be. And then I'm just doing a little shiny clamp right here. All right. Back slats are finished, so Ash, let's lift this sucker up and turn it around so we can get the aprons put on. All right, now we're gonna attach the front and back aprons, and these are going to attach with wood glue. And let's use, the, I think we should use those pretty black um, screws with the okay. hex. So now we are attaching the apron, and we're gonna use some decorative screws along the front. They're actually hex screws, and Ash is gonna link to those in the description box. We're adding wood glue on the front right here of this runner, then we'll put the apron in front of it, and then we'll attach everything. Once that's done, we'll come in from the inside and we'll drive screws from the inside, some shorter ones, to hold everything nice and tight. Front and back aprons are done. Now we're just attaching these side aprons the exact same way. All right, all we have to do now is add this mattress. That's a perfect fit. We will add a link in the description box below for this mattress, but all in all, we only spent about $200. Yeah, and I guarantee you guys, you walk into a store to buy something like this and you're gonna spend over $3,000 easily. Easy, and this is a twin-sized bed, so it's a full 75 inches long. I think when I get home, I'm gonna add some pieces for a pergola and I will add that as an optional part to our plants. But picture it so cute with the mattress covered, you've got hanging lights, sitting by the pool, with a coffee. I'm not going anywhere else this summer. That's right. So y'all be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything else. Well done, sis. Great work. And you'll need two, and you'll need seven, and you'll need five two by fours. Wait till you see how easy it is to build two. That too, I'm sorry, I forgot. I think I cut her, I think I took her. This bed is built, people. No, we gotta do the side pieces. Just kidding. Right.